Today I'm back at my all-time favourite skate park of all time, Concrete Waves in Newquay, and I'm going to be working on backside slash grinds on the vert ramp. Okay, backside slash grind, let's see what we're aiming for. Come up the ramp, pop a little manual, get the back wheel over the coping, grind the truck, and then come back in and ride away. Some of the problems I've been having with this one is as I've been coming up, I've been getting this truck hung up here and falling back down the transition. I'd like to work out what's going on there. I think the remedy is to come at a bit of an angle so it comes back in nicely like that. The second problem I've been having is when I bail, I bail straight down to the flat. Again, I think coming on a bit of an angle is gonna help send me out that way. I also suspect I need to bend my knees right up so that I'm close to the transition. So when I do bail, I can slide down and use the curve of the ramp as opposed to just falling straight onto the flat. Let's see how we get on. Okay, just a few early kick turns there. Just trying to get the feel of it. Nowhere near the coping yet. Just need to bend my knees up more. I'm also gonna take a line that's a little bit more curved as opposed to straight up and down. Okay, there's the bail. It seems if you go at a bit of an angle and do an elliptical turn, if you do come off at the top, you're going that way and it sends you back into the transition sideways as opposed to straight to the bottom. Okay, one of those felt a little better. I just need to bend my knees more when I get to the top of the turn. Give me somewhere to pump out of when I get to the bottom. Okay, that felt a little better. Still got to go with more speed and a little bit more angle. Bend my knees at the top just a little bit more. Ooh, felt a little grind that time. All I did was more speed and tuck my knees up more as I went up to the top and it seemed to happen. Gonna go for more. Okay, just missed timing my pump now. Pumping a little bit too early. On the bigger transition, it feels like I just need to pump a little bit later. Okay, that later pump seemed to help. Just need to make sure I keep my knees bent when I hit the coping just to absorb the pressure, make sure that wheel doesn't hang up. Okay, that was pretty close for the back-to-back. -back. Just gotta go for it now. Okay, success. That was a back-to-back -back pair of grinds. I got a little bit greedy and went for the third. Went too far, but made the bail. Okay, that's it for the backside slash grind at the Concrete Waves vert ramp. It's now time to take it to the bad boy. Well, here we are at the Mount Hawk vert ramp. This thing is full size to say the least. Gonna try a few turns, see how high I can get. Let's see how we get on. Ok, 
Okay, just taking a quick warm-up run. Whew, this thing is big. Need to time my pump a little later than I'm thinking. It's very cardiovascular. I've also done a little tweak to the board. I've tightened the trucks a full turn. I'm needing so much speed to get high. With my normal loose truck setup, just get speed wobbles across the bottom. Okay, I'm getting quite high now. Whew, the adrenaline's pumping. I'm finding it's a battle psychologically because to get the speed to go high gets quite scary. It's the fastest I've ever been. So I've just got to battle through that fear of going fast and try and relax when I get to the top of the wall. I'm gonna go again. Okay, I just need to remember to bend my knees and tuck up when I'm up on the wall. That means that when I bail, I can bail to my knees and not fall out into the flat bottom. That slam wasn't that pleasant, so I'm gonna try and keep nice and low when I'm on the wall so that I can just slide out on my knees. that felt like I got close that time just need to tuck up even more I'm going to come across at more of an angle see if that helps as I come across just to clip the coping I'm going to need max speed though just got to find a way to generate more speed I'm going to experiment with where I pump. I suspect I'm pumping a little bit early on the way down and a little bit too early on the way up, so I'm going to delay it slightly. Okay, that's the problem with having tighter trucks. If you get your line wrong, it's harder to correct. I just fell off on the inside because I couldn't carve it back underneath me that time. Okay, that's it for kick turns on the vert ramp. That was exciting. My legs are finished. I'm going to call it a day before I come a cropper. Many thanks to everyone at Mount Hawk for being so accommodating and letting me have a go on this beast. Okay, that's it for backside slash grinds on the vert ramp. Woohoo, that was pretty exciting. Okay, I think the key points are loads of speed as you come up, take it on a bit of an angle. As you come up to do your turn, bend your knees right up and then swish your back foot out unweight the back foot so it just goes over the coping get the grind and then as you come back down stay compact in case you need to bail and then ride away to get double slash grinds it's just a case of keeping your speed up and that comes from bending your knees at the top of the ramp and then pumping out the bottom with regards to bailing it is best if you stay right close to the ramp and also if you approach the turn on an angle so when you bail you're close to the ramp you just slide out down the transition as opposed to just coming out the top directly to the bottom and hitting the flat bottom. As ever, my name's been John Bishop and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate. <laughs>